Shalom, everyone. So, yeah, um, I'm, I'm sure people have just kind of been wondering, like, uh, what, what's your kind of final, like, summary of uh, our Torah study that happened uh, last night? Actually, the night before. Oh, I can't. I, I'm totally nocturnal now, so I, I'm having a really difficult time being up in the day. Um, and I'm I'm sleeping like a lot in the day, and then I'm waking up like at night, and it only happens on some days. So I'm kind of like on this weird, wacky schedule. So anyway, I'm up now, and it's like uh, what time is it? It's uh, almost three in the morning. So I guess I'm I'm gonna take on the subject of our Torah study. I think it was um, it was challenging because we we did have a lot more people in there. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we, we got to see how it would work when more people came into the room. And, um, what I found that was crucial is the, the movement of our study. Um, and I didn't like the fact that when people came into the room, the movement of our study was kind of broken. I think there are ways to solve that. I think when people come into the room, um, I don't think we should, uh, I don't think we should stop, uh, per se, and I think we should keep going until we're at the end of that particular portion that we're reading, and then I think after we're done with the reading, we should, uh, we should then stop and welcome whoever it is into the room. Um, I don't think it's really asking that much for a person who is really interested in being in the room to wait until the end of um, one of our small segments of the Parsha. So um, I think that's a, an issue. Um, as far as the trolls go, um, I know we had a couple of people come in and they were arguing about Israel and I I barely saw that. I didn't want to pay attention to it. I just barely glanced at it and uh, I know that's going to happen just based on the name of the room. I know we're going to have people that are going to be attracted to the name of the room and they're going to want to come in and they're going to want to talk about Israel and that's not the point and you know we're going to end up picking these people um, if they don't stop and uh, you know then we had the philosopher guy that came in that was like you know trying to make some point to me and yet wanted me to read a whole book you know couldn't give me the point in you know one or two sentences couldn't type it out couldn't get on cam he's just there to troll um, or just maybe just didn't didn't get it um, didn't understand that we were in a in a live study room and uh, I didn't have time to go read a whole book to figure out whatever his point was um, I thought that was actually kind of funny um, so basically the motion of our study cannot be uh, taken away that's my main point I think once we're involved in a portion and somebody's reading, it is incumbent upon all of us to pay attention to the reading and stay focused. And then after we're done with the, whoever's done reading, then we can take care of whatever, you know, whoever comes in the room or whatever's going on in the chat. Because I think this constant stopping, starting, stopping, starting is going to ruin our study. Um, I think we, we need to focus when we're doing those portions. I mean, I think for Alex, it was really difficult for him. I think he was tired, but I also think that the constant stopping and starting and the people coming in the room and getting distracted um, by people coming into the room um, was hard for him to keep his place. And I think that's why, because we lost we lost that, that flow that we've had for the last few times that we've we've done our study. So yes, um, that would be my recommendation, is to not, not pay attention to anybody who comes into the room. Now, if somebody docks up, obviously, and starts talking in the middle of it, then we have a problem. We obviously have to kick that person. But if someone docks up and they're silent and quiet and they wait till everyone's done, like that's a person that we want to keep in the room, right? Because that's a person that's going to be respectful. Just like the one guy that did come in who did dock up, he was extremely respectful. Um, and he listened and he was, he was, you know, he was fine. 
Um, that's the kind of people that we want to attract. So I wouldn't worry about people that come into the room that are there to go in the chat and argue about Israel. You know, um, I don't know in Stickham. I know a lot of people said there were that some of these people came in and were giving private messages to people. I don't know if there's a way to stop. Um, the ability to get private messages on Stickham um, while we're live. I don't know if we can do that, but if we can, it might be something that we might want to do. Um, we might want to not make it so we might, we might want to make it so that none of us gets any private messages while we're in the middle of study. Because again, all of a sudden something pops up on your screen. And I can tell it happened to me that night, that guy that wanted me to read a whole philosophy book um, to try to understand whatever point he was trying to make. Um, he private messaged me and all of a sudden this thing came up on my screen and uh, it's hard to ignore that kind of stuff, right? It, it, it's difficult because it's just popping up on your screen and you know, you literally have to, in order to see everybody again, you've got to go take your mouse and you've got to, you know, physically go and close the window and you know, just like you, you know, you have to stop what you're doing when somebody comes in the room. So I think, I think saying hello and welcoming people can wait until we're done reading whatever uh, part of the portion that we're reading. I think that's important that we do not take away from that particular space. And then once we're done with that, um, and we start discussing it, then we can. You know, we might even need to wait until we're through discussing that portion until we say hello to people in the room, because um, it's gonna, it's the, it's going to grow. It's inevitably going to grow. Um, this this room, people are going to come into this room, um, because it's a room that's there and has been there for a few weeks now. So people, people that hang out on Stickham are recognizing that room. People are going to eventually come into that room. So we need to be able to have some way of staying on track. And that staying on track, I think, will help weed out the people that are really there for a good purpose and those who are just there to, um, you know, to troll around or to, you know, like, try to take our attention away from what we're doing. So I think we should all consider that. Let me know what you think in the comments about waiting until we're through with the portion to even even say hi, even to acknowledge anybody. People should, you know, when they come in to stick them and there's things going on into a room, adults should be able to recognize that there's something going on in the room and that they should wait and then when we're finished, we, you know, we can acknowledge them and say hi and and whatever. Um, so yeah, that was my, the biggest problem I think with, uh, with the study is it, it, to me, it wasn't, um, the motion of it wasn't good. People were getting lost. I was getting, you know, I, I tried to remain focused, but it was very difficult to remain focused. But other than that, um, it was good. Uh, the portion was pretty short this week. Um, it wasn't a double, so that was kind of good. And now we'll um, we'll go to um, we'll, we're going to do the uh, the haftara. Um, we're going to do that tonight, I believe. Yeah, tonight. <laughs> it's already the next day for me. <laughs> um, so we'll do that, and we'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah, and I'm working on the board. I gave you guys the link to the site where I'm going to have the bulletin board. And, uh, yeah, so you guys can make your profiles and everything, and I'm, I'm still fiddling with the board. There's a lot of um, ways to customize this bulletin board. So don't, you know, don't be alarmed if it takes me a little while because there's so much customization you can do. Um, even people who don't know HTML or CSS, it has a WYSIWYG editor. And you know you can you can just change anything. And um, I'll try not to make it. You know, I'll try not to go too in depth to all that stuff. I mean, I can usually do a lot of that 
customization after the board's been opened. But I do want to reiterate, it is not to take away from our weekly um, live port, uh, study uh, time that we have together. Because if it starts, if it starts doing that, then I'll close it down. I will, um, because I don't think a bulletin board can take the place of um, our live study time. So with that, I'm gonna get going. And uh, oh, I'm so thirsty. I've been sleeping like a cat today. Mmm. Mmm. Green tea. Um, I think I overworked out my my legs on my side when I was doing my cycling. I overdid it. And um my body just went, okay, well, since you overdid it, we're gonna have to sleep a lot to kind of heal the the muscles that you strained. So I slept like I went to bed early the night before, like maybe between twelve and one, and I didn't get up until like well, I got up early in the morning, but then uh I went back to sleep and then I got up at like um, 7.30 at night. Yeah, that's how long I slept. And then I got up and I went out to the store and then I came back and then I maybe like napped for a half an hour and then I got up finally. And, um, I've just been sitting here just like watching like old, uh, MASH reruns because that's like one of my favorite shows from my childhood. And just relaxing and, and just hanging out. It feels like Shabbat really. All right, so um, I'll talk to everyone soon, and like I said, leave your comments in, in the low bar and tell me what you think about what we should, you know, what are your ideas about what we should do about um, more people coming in as far as how we're going to prevent the, uh, the interruption of our reading when we're reading um, from the Torah. All right, everyone. Shalom.